Welcome everyone to Let's Play Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation. There is 115 speaking. I hate to speak the music, but I hate it. Right? <laughs> it was pretty damn mysterious. Now, this really takes me back to um, the Peru levels from the original Tomb Raider. Just these very inefficient, classic, slow, unwieldy, rusty uh, spin plates that uh, are there more for decoration than as an actual threat. Anywho, three bets that we took care of, right? Awesome stuff. So this is actually a very, very short level. Again, it should have been one level with the one before. We are inside Menkaure's Pyramid, as I promised. Again, we're gonna find one secret, again, just before the very exit. And it's gonna be a brief detour. What we are here after is uh, one of the four keys that will allow us to unlock the Temple of Horus inside the Great Pyramid. Currently we have zero, but this is where we are gonna find the first one. I'm not talking about the four holy scriptures, oh no, 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 that'd be too simple. And uh, it's gonna be guarded by a something that I'm gonna refer to as Menkaure's Guardian. And there are gonna be a couple of Guardian entities in Giza, all of them very similar. They might ac actually be the identical enemy. I'm gonna have to take a really closer look on them, just to decide for myself if they are or aren't, but they at least behave the same way. Anyway, more about that later. This camera angle reveals a star at the top of the staircase. Now, you need to destroy this to progress in a very simple way. Let's not waste revolver ammunition, we already missed when trying to hit the giant scorpions, so your standard crossbow ammunition will take care of that, right? There we go, hit the very center. Now, you might be hearing some very awfully familiar groans, and yes, it's the mummies we haven't encountered since the tomb of Seth. You know what this means, right? Back then we couldn't, they were unkillable enemies, we couldn't make them fall with a shotgun like skeletons, we could only slow them down with a couple of shots. Now we finally have the ordnance to do away with them. I can't tell you how satisfying this is to turn unkillable enemies into killable. It's not quite as satisfying as the mechanical minotaur, which we killed with bike, but it's getting there pretty close. Yeah, and mind the bat here. I wanted to isolate the bat, uh, the mummies from the bed because I didn't want the bed to be caught in the grenade blast because then it might be difficult to prove that there was one in the first place since they are so tiny. Now, since you destroyed the star at the top of the staircase, this trapdoor has opened. Don't ask me how that works. Just make a jump inside. And now for the reason why I was scared of this level even though it's short and sweet. Um, ropes. Now, we can take it, right? What What's one rope to a seasoned tomb raider? Come on, we've been through worse. I mean, wouldn't it really suck if there were two ropes again? We would have to time perfectly, ignoring any and all logic. Lara, could you swing, please? My goodness, you're lazy today. Anywho, there are gonna be another two mummies and a bat. The bat is who I wanna take down first. There we go. And now, uh, yeah, you know what to do by now, surely. <laughs> ah, enjoy. This is what progression should feel like in video games, seriously. Okay, now that that's clear, uh, there they are, two ropes and two ropes. You know what? We're gonna have to repeat this exercise three times. We, you need to actually swing on the right path over there, trigger a lever, then swing back and then swing forward on the left path. And it gets even worse if you choose the left path first because you have no way of knowing. Now you might be thinking, hey, Zalgaris, it's like you haven't really learned anything. I mean, you can corner shimmy in Tomb Raider 4. Why not just overcome this pit by corner shimmying all the way there? So here's the thing, if you really hate rope swinging, you can do that. But there is one tiny little problem. There are spikes coming from the floor. So if you can, if you're okay with sacrificing a ton of health packs to make that uh, shimmying to the side across, then that's a very legit strategy that you can use to make it across. But unfortunately the spikes are high and so are Lara's legs and they will come into contact. Meaning you will have a lot of bruises if you decide to do that. Okay, now here's the real danger, right? If you do too much of a good jump, Lara can so... Well, what I'm gonna refer to as over jump, meaning she will not grab the rope like she did right now. I got enormously lucky. Okay, now let's trigger the lever first. And this opens up a trapdoor on the other side. If you don't know this in advance and you end up taking the left path first, my condolences, really. Okay, now, important thing, wait for the rope to almost entirely stop moving because there's a small chance that even if you do a perfect jump, Lara will not grab it. 
even if it's at the slightest motion okay this is very important okay I I kind of hope that will that will do the trick so let's make a jump now Whew, okay okay always get to the very end of the rope all right oh thank you for cooperating Lara and that means that after this jump we need to repeat this exercise only once on the left side which is kind of amazing we made it this far okay okay let's not get ahead of ourselves okay a lot can go wrong especially when two ropes are involved so another jump make it to the very bottom all right and now you're facing a risk of under jumping or over jumping none of them Ooh. okay 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 come on Lara you can do this now you can surely do this all right I think we did it okay Whew. Wouldn't it suck if I was to die later on? <laughs> it sure would. And there's Menkare's Guardian I was talking about. Okay, first things first, uh, let's just choose those explosive arrows. There is no more opportune moment to use them right now. Ah, he's ahead of Horus, but red glaring eyes. <laughs> I just had to use the scope before finishing him off. Come on. I believe that was seven shots that we used, you know, just like Cleopatra's Guardians. Yeah. You know what, I like this nomenclature, calling all these mythical creatures guardian of someone or something in Lara's Egyptian adventure, that's really cool. Oh no. Oh no, 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 I forgot. Guess what we'll be doing again? Yep. Oh yeah, I forgot there's no direct exit from, uh, from the Room of the Guardians, so... You know what, might as well just get it over with. Okay. And even if we make it, there's still that one rope which we need to use to overcome the bit, but okay, okay. Okay, okay, Lara. Please, don't let me down now. I have never managed to pull this off without saving in between, so... This would be a first. Oh my goodness. Okay, one rope that should be fairly sta stabilized, right? Actually, completely stabilized. It's been ages since we used it, so... Grabbing it should not be an issue. Swinging to the... <sighs> other side might this is a much meaner jump than the ones before actually when it comes to the distance oh my god we did it we are as pro efficient with ropes as you can be which sounds which sounds kind of dirty but that's not really what i meant uh lara come on you're not drunk surely you probably have a heat stroke though that that i would completely understand okay so out of this basin please thank you and by the way, I did not make a mistake on the scrolling text slide. There are really only three items to pick up. That's it. We already found the revolver ammunition, the one key item. Actually, I did not inspect it further, the western shaft key. Guess what? We need to find eastern, northern, southern, and all of them are scattered across Giza. What's worse is that Giza levels are designed in a way which allows you to miss them and not being able to backtrack to get them. And then you are completely and utterly and royally screwed. So, uh, Stella's uh, Tomb Raider site offers uh, very good save files, which you can use to get back to the spot. But if that feels dirty, to me personally does, then, you know, feel free to follow my walkthrough or her walkthrough, any other of the amazing walkthroughs out there, to make sure you do not miss them. Okay, now I'm unnecessarily nervous about this, but I think we should be fine, right? Oh, indentations on the left and right, you know what that means. So make sure to go into a crawl. Once the blades will pass, you are safe, okay? But I understand if you're paranoid and just want to crawl all the way through. Completely understand that, not judging. Oh, yeah, another trap door. So before we, no, after we open it, actually, let me select the grenade launcher and super ammo. Oh, yes, baby. You know what's up ahead. Two scorpions. And if you hit the grenade just right, you can even take out both of them with one of the super grenades. Lara, what are you... Oh, my goodness. Ah, you survived, you son of a... Okay, shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. You're not wasting anything else. Lara, this was an absolute debacle. What on earth? When I did this during my trial run, both of them died. The cluster grenades are so unpredictable. Ah, god damn it. Nevertheless, 
ignore what you've just seen here, you know, focus on the good parts, like how we amazingly uh, overcame all the rogue pits. Um, using the super grenade here, uh, I, I swear it, 9 out of 10 times uh, brings great results. I'm not trying to scam you, I, I swear, I'm not trying to sell you super grenades or anything like that, it really does work. And you might have noticed, interesting, I chose to use the revolver here, and that's simply because as it comes around the corner, there is less maneuverability around it, and we already got hit three or four times without poisoning, I did not want to push my luck, okay? So a revolver is, again, the best weapon in the game, superior even to grenades. Um, I'm wondering, potentially you might get a higher DPS from explosive arrows, but even then I think Revolver still wins. Anyway, let's enter this pyramid, and you might have seen a very familiar armory on the other side, that's where we saved the one soldier, who gave us uh, his keys. The armory key if you saved him, and the guard's keys for saving him, or that he would have dropped if you killed him, yeah. So we are on the other side, as I promised, and inside an unnamed pyramid, at least by the game, which will take us to the Sphinx complex, strangely enough. And no more bets here, you don't have to worry, this is not like underneath the Sphinx or anything like that, we are actually completely finished uh, with the enemies in this level. We have just that one secret with one item to find, it's, it's gonna be Uzi, so, you know, 30 bullets, nothing that impressive, but it's always nice to have. And it's a secret, it's not about getting the rewards, it's finding the secrets is its own reward, come on. Okay, now if you are patient to set up Lara correctly, these are very easy bits to overcome. Sometimes I like to risk, you know, and just do something foolish, not give Lara sufficient time, you know, or making it without setting her up correctly, and most of the time it works out fine. Just now I'm a bit careful, considering we did not save after overcoming all those ropes, so yeah. And also not getting poisoned by those scorpions after that spectacular super grenade failure, so that's something. But at least one of them died after one grenade, you know, so you can make an argument we saved two normal grenades, but then we ended up shotgunning him. Ah, I don't know. Maybe lobbing two or three grenades would have killed them. Ah, something to consider anyway. Oh, 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 did I mess up? Oh! Okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine. I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing, Lara, please tell me I know what I'm doing. Another deep pit, thankfully again without any annoying pesky bets. Maybe the developers learned at this point that enough is enough. I don't think so, but uh, who knows. Okay, and there we are, the final slide to the level exit. Before you indulge yourself, please try and jump to the right over here, as this will take you to the final secret, you will take some damage, it's maybe possible to somehow jump ahead and instead grab this and... or actually even climb up here, right? And then making it back. But uh, that requires some very precision jumping and honestly we could still take the damage, so there it is. The first and only secret with the Uzis. And as soon as you fall into the trapdoor over there, you will find yourself... Uh, at uh, the level exit, so you know what? Actually, yeah, we, we, we can fall there even now, that's fine. It's not level exit straight ahead. But this should look very familiar, guess where we are? <laughs> yep, that's the three tiles puzzle, all right? The bird, the reeds, and the hill. And somewhere out there are the two trapped uh, guardians of the Sphinx, as I call them. Well, here's the thing, it actually isn't, it just looks like it, because we are still inside Menkaure's Pyramid, right? We're not underneath the Sphinx. I love how the level names give you exact in location, position. <laughs> anyway, it just pretends like it is. And this is the trapdoor that I've shown you uh, when we were underneath the Sphinx the first time. Where this tunnel leads, by the way, which is, I guess, fairly obvious, is uh, the Sphinx complex. Even though we are not in underneath the Sphinx, the game just pretends. This is what the exit looks like. Pretty weird iron gate or something like that. Again, we're not supposed to see this, so it's fun to do that. And yeah, you can go there, and once you go back, you will find yourself underneath the Sphinx. But this gate will be just as closed as it is inside Menkaure's Pyramid copy of this area. But you will know it's the same level because you will actually hear the guardians of the Sphinx snorting trapped in their cages, right? So anyway, with those words and no possibility of ever going back, let me show you the statistics screen. So this was inside Menkaure's Pyramid, very short, very dangerous level. 
containing only three items, one of them a key item, so there you have it, another secret. Uh, we have killed all 13 enemies, including the unique Menkares Guardian, and I'm actually gonna keep a close eye on the other Guardians we will encounter, just to see how similar they are. On top of that, we have found this level's one and only secret, just before the end again, bringing us to the total of 66. So with that, I am going to make a very happy save here, since we did not die, or get poisoned, or had to save, and I will see you guys next time during a very brief walk through the Sphinx complex again.